Laughter is no more part of a family. My grandmother generation, when they used to laugh, they used to roll on the floor and laugh. I'm sure some of you have seen your grandmothers or some of your mothers still do that. Rocking laughter. They'll roll on the floor and laugh. The whole body will vibrate in laughter. Tears will come out of laughter. Then that generation went. Then this generation has come. Where you need laughing club. Where you go in the morning and there is a leadership for laughter who tells you, go and then all of you go, ha, ha, ha. Looks like circus. It doesn't look like laughter. But the, you are an okay generation at least. The next generation is the kerchief generation. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's going to be worse than next generation. Whenever there is an occasion to laugh, they'll tell you lol. L O L. Then you have to understand, you have to laugh out loud. They won't even laugh. It'll all be communicated. Or one smiley will be sent to you. So is it any wonder we need so much psychologists and psychiatrists to deal with day-to-day -day issues? Laughter has to come back to the families. See, if we don't learn to see the lighter side of life, and lighter side of life is the most beautiful aspect of life, you get upset about, you get upset about everything. You call somebody on the phone, somebody is not picking up. And you should be able to laugh at it. And from here you get struck. Pick up. Pick up. Whom are you telling? <laughs> Whom are you telling? You get angry at a soap that slips out of your hand in the bathroom. Saniye. <laughs> to the soap. That means your reflexes are becoming weak and you had to do something about it. Laughter has to come back to families.